Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important please that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions whatsoever you would like to contact me please do so. You can find all of my information right below into the YouTube description box. So um, please do check it out and if you wish to contact me it will be my great pleasure to assist you so please do not hesitate. Um, that being said if you do enjoy the channel you have not yet subscribed please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and great appreciated and I do thank you so very much. That being said, I would like to thank every single one of my subscribers for being there, for sharing, for commenting, for participating. Thank you. And thank you to all of these subscribers who have donated so generously to the channel. Very grateful and I do thank you so very much. Um, that being said, let's begin this reading. Now these are messages that are coming from the universe. Now the universe wants to give you four different messages so please do take whatever is good for you. Leave the rest of it aside. Let's begin. I have emerging into grace followed up by expecting miracles. I have planting seeds and I have renewing your life. So let's start this off over here with the very first one that popped up emerging into grace. This is all about opening your soul to grace. All is well and you can relax and you can let go because your path, it is divinely guided. Gifts from the Creator, they are pouring into your life. This is about gratitude, how it's going to abound. It's about a spirit of grace that is softly unfolding into your life. Now the universe would like you to know that in the stillness of retreat, the gifts of spirit are going to emerge at your feet. In gratitude and thankfulness and opening into the deepest spiritual realms is occurring. Simply be ready and be open as waves of sacred love are going to be pouring into your heart. Grace, it's about knowing that within you so that more and more you serve as a safe sanctuary for others. Ask yourself, how does the spirit of grace want to work into your, into your life? And what has blocked it from filling your life into the place? And if you truly, truly let go and you open yourself to grace, what do you think is going to unfold onto your path? That is emerging into grace, opening your soul to grace. And now we're going to move on over to expecting some miracles. This is about how miracles are going to be blossoming into your life. And miracles come in all different shapes and forms and all different kind of uh, ways. Often we don't even actually notice that there are some miracles that happen for us. This is about how majestic wonders they are unfolding for you. Even as you receive this message. So watch for them and then embrace them. The more you become aware of the tiny little small marvels into your life the more they're going to grow a magnitude around you. Now the universe, the universe wants you to know that what is expected, it tends to be realized. So you need to expect some miracles into your life. You need to celebrate. You need to cherish them when they appear. No matter how small, small they may seem. This is about letting go of the fear. It's about letting go of fear and different type of expectations. It's about allowing the creator to solve your challenges but in very mysterious and I'd even say wondrous ways. So please don't limit the ways in which you think that miracles can appear into your life. You have to know that you can be the miracle in the life of another also. So please ask yourself how can you be even more open to miracles that are blossoming into your life? And what are the miracles that are occurring right now and are coming in your future? And how are you a miracle for somebody else? Moving on over to planting seeds because we all need to plant some seeds to have a beautiful future. This is about how seeds of grace are being planted into the fertile soul, soil of your soul. Now the fertile soil of your soul is ready to receive the seeds 
that are going to come to harvest into the years ahead. This is about you getting clear on what you desire for yourself right now and for your future because time is absolutely vital. Because now it is truly your moment to plant your spiritual seeds. The universe wants you to know that every realized dream, it once started with what? An idea? An idea that took root? A dream that took root? For your projects and your ideas and your dreams to come to fruition, you need to first become clear on what your heart truly desires. And then you need to ask yourself, is this really what I want? Believe that miracles can happen. Use this time to plant seeds for your future. Nurture these precious seeds so that they are going to come to grow as strong as a mighty oak, let's say. Take action into the desired direction of your dreams, but you must be willing. You must be willing to pull the weeds along the way because there will be a little bit of weeds here and there. There will be some challenges along the way. You need to take care of them. It won't be long before you are actually reaping the bounty of your beautiful labor. So please do ask yourself as questions, what has blocked your seeds from taking root into the past? And how can you overcome this right now, today? How can you best prepare for your desired future? And what is being sown for your future that you may not just be consciously aware of? What is into the planning? Hmm. Let's move on over to your final message. And your final message is about renewing your life. It's about decluttering. Radiant vitality is filling in your life. This is about how a powerful inner and outer renewal is occurring into your life and it is quite essential. Purification is happening on many different levels. Take your life to the next level by clutter clearing, release situations and people that don't empower you. Space clear your environment and eat lightly. In order for renewal to occur, the old needs to make way for the new. So you need to declutter if you want that new to come on in. The universe wants you to know that sometimes it is difficult for exciting experiences to come into your life if your auric field or your personal space is simply cluttered. There's simply no room for something new and when you purify your life you create the space for those new opportunities and those new opportunities are going to come flooding in. If you have a sense that your auric field or your living space or your body has become cluttered or dingy, this is a time for you to take some inner and some outer clearing. Ask yourself, is there anything that you need to purify or to clear out of your life? And is there anything that needs to be renewed or re-examined in your life? How can purification help you become a clearer channel for yourself and for others? And that, my dear friends, does conclude your beautiful reading with the universe. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that the universe brought you some very interesting thoughts that you'll be able to ponder upon. Um, If you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button and have yourself the most beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.